some late night horizon probably play for about an hour that's it um happy sunday everyone i'm shattered but i really want to play some of this so we just got to plain song and this is the main quest fighting in the fields ahead I've seen these machines before. Hunter killers. Close right there. Okay, this is a new one. The others both have been inspected. We have to move. my health or something. I shouldn't have died that easy. Surely. Fighting in the fields ahead. Is the carnage right now? Well, uh, there's fights going on from uh, a village is being attacked, so I'm finding this a perfect time to level up. Make sure they don't get my kills so I can level up. <laughs> I should level up quite quickly, to be honest. How you doing, Sesh Goblin? You okay? Welcome in. Yeah. 
Strider again. Thanks. How has the series been so far? Um, it's. Uh, I, I mean, the first uh, Horizon game is incredible. Uh, Transitive verb. Welcome in. Happy Sunday. Let's uh, let's get a shout out going on for our Transitive verb. Let's see what we get today. Cat cat. It's a pretty quiet clip. Yeah. But we're all about the kitties in this house. Amazing, really good. Uh, I mean, I've been looking forward to it for God knows how long um, since I finished the first one, uh, and it's living up to the hype. I honestly couldn't be happier. More machines. Okay, I should have probably crafted some more uh, ammo first. Machines are stronger, deadlier than normal. There's more than just Minerva and a missing in that cave. Far off uh, the next level, actually. So this, it's been quite good. Shit. 
Come on, come here. I really need to power my weapon somehow. each skill unlocked except for this we've almost done the warrior skill branch this trail is the path of the land gods it'll lead us to the court Out, Aloy. On your lead. No, I fell down again. Last one.
Mine. Well, I wish I'd found that before. It would have made it slightly easier. Almost there. So many machines broke through. What happened to the Gordon's defenders? We better be ready for anything. Come on then, dickhead. There it is, it's a cauldron. Oh, what's left of it? So many dead. They will be more when the time is right. For now, we must keep going. Into the cave. Is it a cauldron? May the land gods forgive our trespass. What is that? A kind of wall. Made of light. Up here! door. I don't think we were supposed to have completed any cauldrons just yet, but as, uh, as you may have seen yesterday, we uh, we did a cauldron already this early into there. the game. You're gonna need one of these. very powerful somewhere beyond that door and it wants us dead follow my lead and be ready for anything of this place. There's so much metal. Who built this place? Machines. Not like any you've seen before. Machines in here. I'll have to take them out. Right behind you. Oh, God. 
this is a cauldron where machines are born. It looks like one, but if the land gods come and go, then they aren't just made here. They're being repaired, too. And the spirit you're after is in here. Minerva? Maybe, but I have a feeling that's not all. Places like these and next kill the machines. It's called Hephaestus. Even the mountain is rotted to the roots. <sighs> Looks like those cables are blocking the way up. You two wait here. I'll find another time. Okay. Uh, what did I just do? Very good here, am I? So which bit am I supposed to shoot? I would assume it's that bit that's highlighted. Out of the way, you. So, what am I supposed to shoot them with? I don't get it. That works. Ah. Ava 
Yeah, I know, I noticed that. That's why I'm trying to do this. That did it. The gears on the pillar should be exposed now. Looks like there are only two pillars this time. I have to shoot the gears so the pillar locks into place. God damn it. Absolutely annoying. Really annoying. Excuse me. She's so high up. Don't fall, Aloy. No, believe me, I don't want to do it. Not after last time. floor panel nearby to activate them. See if I can get to it. We'll wait here. How do I get back up there? Are you okay down there? Yeah. 
Ia. Go, twat. I really don't know what to do. I tried first was the uh, absolute correct thing. Okay, cool. All right. 
Alright, let's see what we can do. Come on over, you two. facilities before to build deadly machines but it wasn't always hostile it used to be part of something good something called Gaia more of those cables covering that door I think we're almost at the core be ready well, I am trying to open the door, but you know. Dome of light. 
protecting the machine. Yeah. There should be a node I can override nearby to shut it down. Machine. But because I no longer know what to believe. <coughs> Look, so if you want, you can go back home. Do I still have one? And if so, for how long? Can you really heal our lands? Save my people?
one step at a time. Hey man, no worries. <coughs> but it starts now. Welcome in, Philly Joe. Let's see what clip yields. We'll continue this very shortly. We love the streets of Raiders, but this here. Back and just want a drink. Up we go. There's more. Like Aloy said, this is only <coughs> the beginning. Aloy, the core. My focus is showing holograms on it. They look like machines. Overrides. Knowledge on how to tame machines. And you can learn this? Oh, we love a Sunday night can. Oh. So ho hopefully this will uh, finalize the skill tree. But I need one more skill point, because of course I do. Oh, it goes straight into another mission. Is that the spirit? Minerva? I, I don't think so. At least, not directly. This game has been absolutely phenomenal so far. How long have I been playing, I wonder? I believe there was a... I thought there was a way to tell you your total play time in this game. How do I find out how long I've sunk into this game? Is that like statistics? Ah, here we go. Game completion, 20%. Statistics, time played, about 20 hours. Oh, okay, so it's a big old game. Vacant. 
the facility immediately. Something doesn't want us here. What exactly was this place? Seen anything like it before? No. There. That's our way out. Error. Unauthorized access. Initiating facility lockdown. Stay out. What's going on? Well, at least the emergency lights work. What just happened? Minerva's definitely here. And I think it's trying to keep us out. I'll scout ahead, see if there's a way to get us in. You sure we shouldn't come with you? Well, yeah, Minerva could be dangerous. Let me make sure it's safe. Okay. We'll be right here if you need us. Did you ever play the first Horizon, uh, Rob? Oh, you dick. Are you doing okay, Zo? So? All this. Minerva. Hephaestus. Gaia. This is what will help heal Plain Song? It's hard to explain. I mean, I barely understand it, but yeah. Okay. It's what Aloy's I been need to find where Minerva's hiding. Time. I should look for a way to access the facility systems. You definitely should, to be honest, mate. Locked. Incredible. Alert! Restricted access! You are not wanted here. Nope, sorry. You're not getting rid of me that easily, Minerva. What are all those cables in the center for? Looks like those cables connect to something above. Seems promising, if I can find a way up there. Oh, might be able to pull that open. I can feel a draft above. Might be a way out of this shaft. I'm not going that way. Looks like this might be where data is stored, but I don't see a way to access the system. I better keep looking.
Aha! There's another one. Outside. I need to find a way back into the facility. Maybe I could look for a way in higher up the mountain. There is definitely a way in there. There has to be. So how do I get up there? Pipes up there. Might lead me to a way back in. Excuse me! Have anybody got any bottle orange juice? Have anybody got any bottle orange juice? Who knows? But I do have a shout out for Mr. Spaceman. How the devil are you? And yes, you will be clean. You know my power. Okay, where should I... Uh, Whoa, where, where do we stop? what in the fucking has just happened? Oh, close. If I can get Minerva to cooperate, I can merge it with Gaia. Finally bring her back. And we can start fixing the blight, the storms, and maybe she can help me figure out who those strangers in the Proving Lab were. Why did they have a clone of Elizabeth? Why did they want to back up? How are you enjoying Elden Ring? Good sir. That's what I would like to know. Rocks look loose. I think I can clear the there's plane song. I hope the Otaru are doing okay after the attack. Where's plane song? I can't see it. Oh, it's over there. Shaft. Okay, now I've got to find a way to plug into this place. Alert! System core penetrated. Well, 
that's annoying. Minerva, I need the console. Please. Access denied. It didn't used to be like this. Do you remember it? Anything? You were part of something bigger once. Something good. Gaia. That's right. She can live again. But only if you give her the chance. I can't reboot her without you. I... Cease. I think you'll disappear into her. Become part of her. Like you used to be. That's okay. We'll cease. Thank you. Thank you, Minerva. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Minerva function to original code. Initiate heuristic matrix. Here it goes. Initialization of my heuristic matrix will not be complete for several minutes more. In the meantime, I suggest you familiarize yourself with this facility. It is our best option for a base of operations, and you can make use of its equipment to improve your ability to override machines. Um, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Shall I grant access to your companions? They will be here shortly. Um... Okay, but... Don't overwhelm them, okay? They don't have a lot of experience with things like... Well... You. Fake this time? No. This time she's real. Borl, so this is Gaia. Hello. Hi. Hi. Gaia's still uh waking up. Let's look around. I will highlight the location of the lab on your focus. Good. So what was this place? A regional control center, where Zero Dawn progeny would have overseen terraforming operations in the area. What's all this? This was intended as the main gathering space for control center operatives. You could fit a good number of people in here. Or maybe just a few. To start with, you two go ahead. I'm going to... Poke around a bit. Looks like an office. Correct. The facility. 
facility was designed with a number of private offices. I guess it's nice to have a space to call your own. Hey, Gaia? Why doesn't this door have power? At my current operating level, <coughs> I am only able to restore functionality to part of this facility. In time, I <coughs> will change. Got it. So this was supposed to be... the lab. That was its intended purpose. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. I'll take a look. Oh, so you, you not only unlock the overrides, uh, you can't do them automatically. You've got to craft the overrides from base with a bunch of resources. Well, I was able to repair some of the corrupted overrides. But it looks like I need data from more machine parts to fix the rest. My initialization is complete. You may continue to explore the facility, Aloy. When you are ready, return to the control room. We have much to discuss. That door leads to the west exit. But before you leave, we have much to discuss. Right. So this place was here all this time. Built for people who would never show up. Why didn't they? Remember that guy I told you about? Ted Farrow? He... Sabotaged things. I wasn't supposed to be this. Okay. Maybe it's time to talk to Gaia. I'll leave you to it. Hello, Aloy. Uh, hi. So you're ready? Yes. Initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah, but two big ones first. We're not going to be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Thankfully. The sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. Receiving. Of Apollo, Artemis, and Aletheia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. And Hephaestus? It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. <laughs> That's for sure. In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. 
Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the Master Override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. The cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited, so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of... strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors and a, um... Uh, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. The calculations are complicated, but it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. Wait, what? Space? A distance so vast that light itself requires 8.611 years to cross it. Okay, so... What's so far away and, and why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Sirius? But that's where Far Zenith, their ship... The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless... Uh, I don't... Why make it seem like they failed? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that... They were out there. Wait. It is getting serious. The strangers who tried to kill me... Anna, welcome in, man. Lab, Good to see you. The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... Far Zenith? Yes. That is my conclusion. The sole purpose of the signal was to destroy life on Earth, right? Why would descendants of Far Zenith want to do that? At this point, we can only speculate. I mean, Earth posed no threat to them. We don't have the technology to get in their way. We didn't even know about them. True. Unless... Well... Could it be that they want the planet for themselves? The strangers I ran into, they were after a Gaia backup of their own. I mean, if they did that... If they booted their own Gaia and boosted her power... Until she could take control of Hephaestus... And then the whole terraforming system. Then yes, the system could be used to do what the extinction signal failed to accomplish. Snuff out life, and then potentially to build an entirely new biosphere. To their specifications. So they could be trying to do the same thing we are. But with opposite results. 
Extinction. Instead of salvation. Well, this is not good. You said Sirius is really far from Earth. 81 trillion kilometers, or 8.611 light years. I also got the Sirius pun. So, but how would the Descendants have gotten here? On a spacecraft much like the Odyssey, though significantly more advanced. The journey from Earth to Sirius would have taken the Odyssey almost 300 years. This appears to have been much faster. If their ship departed Sirius at the same moment the extinction signal first began transmitting, the journey was made in just 29 years at an average of 0.297 the speed of light. If they did not set out for Earth until they learned of the extinction signal's failure, the journey was even faster. A mere 13 years, or 0.662 the speed of light. Okay, enough. You're making my head spin. The descendants I ran into at the Hades Proving Lab, they... They had a clone. Of Elizabeth Sobek. So that's consistent with the idea that they came here to salvage Zero Dawn technologies, right? Yes. As your own experience demonstrates, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek functions in effect as a key to the terraforming system. But... How could they have made a clone? The Odyssey carried approximately 200,000 human zygotes, millions of animal zygotes, and billions of plant seeds. It is conceivable that Elizabeth Sobek's genetic material was sampled, with or without her knowledge, and carried aboard the ship in storage. That's... Okay, but... I mean... This, this clone... How could she participate in this? Destroying Elizabeth's dream? It's... It's evil. It is difficult to know. Perhaps she is loyal to the group and shares their objectives. Or perhaps she is a subordinate and has no choice but to comply with their orders. Elizabeth Sobek? A subordinate? I don't think so. The extinction signal didn't just wake Hades. It made every subordinate function self-aware. Why? I have wondered this myself. So far as I can tell, Hades was the sole target, and the partial sentience imparted to other subordinate functions was incidental. Hmm. So the signal could only have been sent by someone who had thorough knowledge of the system, huh? Yes. The signal's design was exceptionally precise and highly advanced. Were its intentions less malevolent? I would admire the intellect or intellects that produced it. How did you figure out that the extinction signal came from Sirius? The key came with data on your focus. From Silence interrogation of Hades. The duration of the signal itself. 17.22 years. Well, that doesn't make sense. You said that the signal took 8.6 years to arrive from Sirius. Why would the signal keep transmitting after it was received and you blew yourself up? Because the sender didn't know that had happened until it received notice from Hades. Which would take another 8.6 years to get back. Correct. Only then would the sender stop broadcasting, after a total of 17.22 years. So the duration, halved, gave me the distance the signal traveled. With that in mind, I simply scanned Quick my maps. astronomical database for any relevant location 8.6 light years away. Because it was Far Zenith's intended destination, Sirius was the only logical source. So if the Descendants came to Earth on a spaceship, I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes. As your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates, they appear to make extensive <laughs> use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. Yeah, no kidding. The one I fought seemed indestructible. Throughout history, every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. 
Perhaps a way can be found to defeat their shielding. Yeah, I hope so. Or I'm not gonna be winning fights against them anytime soon. The three subordinate functions that you detected, what do we know about them? All three are relevant to problems currently plaguing the biosphere. Ether is responsible for detoxifying the atmosphere and moderating the weather. Poseidon controls the organic and chemical composition of water resources. Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends to plant life. If all three were restored to me, they would constitute a massive increase to my heuristic processing density. But beware. Their responses to my query pattern were... Irregular. In oh. human terms, they are frightened, lost, and paranoid. Like Minerva. They need to be whole again. Exactly. You said you need Hephaestus to save life from extinction. Why? Every subordinate function has value, but Hephaestus is by far the most important. Because it keeps Only by out recovering and merging it animals. can I regain my ability to design and mass-produce new machines at cauldrons across the planet. Only through it can I program new machines and alter the tasking of existing machines to completely reverse environmental damage. Recovering other subordinate functions may buy us time, but without Hephaestus, I cannot permanently stave off mass extinction. The missing subordinate functions. What can you tell me about them? Artemis rewilded the Earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Apollo was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast archives of human knowledge and cultural achievements. Unfortunately, all archived Apollo data was purged on the 2nd of February, 2066, by order of Ted Pharaoh. Pharaoh, huh? I really hate that guy. Understandable. He <laughs> appears to have been pathologically narcissistic, impulsive, and unstable. All three of the missing functions have already served their purpose, or were prevented from doing so. Do you still need them? If attainable, yes. Restoring their remaining elements would increase my heuristic processing density. Unfortunately, I have no way to track them. They have disappeared without a trace. Given Hephaestus' importance, is there really no way to capture and merge it first? I'm afraid that is quite impossible. In my present state, launched and merged with Minerva, I am operating at less than one-fifth, 18.8%, of my intended processing capacity. Hephaestus dwarfs this figure. Were an attempt made to conduct the merge under these circumstances, Hephaestus would absorb me, rather than the other way around. A merge cannot be attempted until my heuristic processing density exceeds its own. And how many subordinate functions is that going to take? Merging Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon will expand my heuristic network to 41.6% capacity exceeding that of Hephaestus. You said Hephaestus isn't located in just one place. Correct. Unlike the other subordinate functions which are confined to discrete physical processors, Hephaestus is distributed throughout the global network this that is so well the planet's written. cauldrons. So, when the time comes to subdue it, how do we make that happen? I do not know. While you are retrieving the procurable subordinate functions, I will attempt to find a solution. So, once Hephaestus has been recovered and merged, 
You'll regain the capacity to mass-produce machines at cauldrons around the world. Yes. And to program their behavioral routines. Or even control them directly. So could you build an army of machines? Attack the descendants of Far Zenith and take them out? It is in my nature to take any and all necessary steps to preserve life on Earth. Human life above all. So yes, once I have been empowered with the capacities of Hephaestus, I could design, build, and command such an army. Given the nature of the Far Zenith threat, doing so may be our only option. I must admit, however, that I have misgivings about using such technology to kill, no matter how aggressive the enemy. That's good. It means you have a conscience. As Elizabeth intended. Indeed. What is the state of the biosphere? Is the terraforming system functioning at all? In a sense, the terraforming system never stopped functioning. The difference, since my predecessor's destruction, is that there has been no central governing intelligence to monitor its robotic agents and assign new tasks. As a result, errors have accrued, and day by day, the biosphere has gradually veered ever more sharply towards destruction. In recent months, disturbances in the biosphere have become obvious. But these bellwether phenomena offer just the merest glimpse of the complex and accelerating cycles of environmental dysfunction, now driving Earth's biosphere towards collapse. And you can't do anything to stop it. If you can return Aether, Poseidon, and Demeter to me, I can improvise modest corrections to parts of the system. Weather will improve, water will be purified, and rampant plant growth curtailed. But such corrections will not stave off collapse. They will only buy us time. Only with Hephaestus can I design and produce new robotic agents designed to permanently reverse the damage that has accumulated. All efforts must be directed toward that end. How long do we have then? At present rates, without additional factors. The biosphere will cross a point of no return in approximately four months. No pressure. And if I gather Aether, Demeter, Poseidon, merge you with them? We will only gain a few months more. Well, every bit counts. So if the Descendants came to Earth on a spaceship, I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes. As your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields- Yeah, no kidding. Throughout every def- For example, assuming I- No, she- So there's- Always. Okay, I think I've asked everything. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate function sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest and therefore might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakt territory. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus but they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. <laughs> well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. My substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas was located there. A ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? A strange place for an AI devoted to water. Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. 
Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay, so three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh's territory, Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? I think I'll head for Aether. Then I will assign Aether as the objective on your focus. If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. I do, don't I? Is something wrong? Um... I don't know. It's just that... Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and... A lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Live up to her example? Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Thank you, Gaia. Well, I, uh... I guess I should get going. Thanks I for the pep talk. I the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Varl? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. That's you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Gaia's opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. Okay. Wow. I need to bring Aether back for Gaia. Oh, wow. Varl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could head back east first. Check on how Plain Song's doing after the attack. Or I could also look around here some more. Oh, the skin's cracking from the cold. Oh, she actually uh, shakes in this one. Nice. Maybe Gaia will be able to get it open later. Chicken McBooks, thank you for the bits anyway. I hope you're well. Happy Sunday evening.
explore the base a little bit more. Where was that vent that I went for earlier on? I can do about it right now. But I should keep an eye out for any data in the facility that can help. I guess I should go there. Yeah, I might have. Uh, what is this place? Cheered. But I want the data log, so I want to find out as much as possible about this story. I spoke to Leanna. They were just about to ship out to the Pacific Front. They really believed that if they could buy us some time, it'd be worth it. That Zero Dawn would save us. But if you were listening to this, then they were right. It was worth it. Their name was Leanna Jensen. 9th Civilian Guard Brigade for Operation Enduring Victory. And they were so, so brave. Ground soon. She's like a fox. And then the bad robots won't get us. So, I guess this is H and G. Hi and goodbye. The day I was supposed to meet my sister's new baby, a vert swooped in and a crew of mass commandos threw a bag over my head. Next thing I knew, I was being told how the world would end and given a choice. Die now or help Zero Dawn and die later. At least Nicole, Ella, and baby Aiden will be safe in Elysium. Gave up my allotment to make sure they could stay together. I don't know if any of this will actually work. Zero Dawn, cradle-raised humans. But if it does, do better than we did, okay? Got to be honest, I don't really know what to say to the future. So I guess I'll say something to the past instead. Mom, Dad, I know you'll never hear this. But I wanted to say thank you. For all those times you dragged me along as a kid to volunteer at Hot Zone Relief Centers. You used to say, you have to pay it forward. The Sorry, future will always be brighter like for all the stuff down here connects to the I'm dome. trying to live up to your example. What's it for? I this love facility you. was designed to process we'll an immense amount again, of sir. data from the terraforming system. This is where it would have been stored.
Oh, I've been down here before. It's where I first got into the facility. Gaia, what is this? It is a control console for a drone-based imaging system connected to this dome. I will transmit the relevant data to your focus. Huh. So this Cyclops is a network of drones to monitor the deteriorating biosphere conditions. I guess it was meant to display on the dome, but... The drones aren't connected anymore. If I find the drones out in the wilds, I could get the data from them, use it to reconnect them, and restore the display. God, there's a lot of collectibles. And I'm here for it. It'll be better this way. After you, Aloy. I need to head further west. To, um, get more of Gaia's components. Make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime. And Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like... training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Erend. Bring him here. Look, allies, friends, can help. We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us, catch us up. It'll be okay. Okay. Take these, then. One to wear. One for backup. While you're at it, stop by Stone's Echo and look for Milu. Give her a message for Talana that I found a way over the mountains. Will do. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clan lands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. To North Clan lands. Somewhere out there's three of Gaia's subfunctions. And who knows what else. Oh, Aloy. Your Karja friend came through. She went to that Osaram camp you two were looking for, to the southwest. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. You sure it's you're just okay with being alone in here? Me. I have Gaia, and learning how to interpret the glyphs of the old ones, it keeps me occupied. Have you gone back to plain song at all? I thought about it, but I wouldn't know what to tell them. The chorus already thinks me a thorn in the thicket. If they knew what we did to Fa, even if they understood. There'd be little they could grasp about all this. No. 
For now, I must leave the tribe behind. I need to go. I'll keep that in mind. Clearing up. Storm's over. More rebels. I'd heard I'd find them here. Getting rid of their leader might cause the rest to leave. My stash later. Still, some stuff I'd quite like to do in plain song, to be honest. So.
What's going on here? You're the one who spoke before the chorus. Maybe you can help. This is not your concern, Outlander. Have we not tolerated enough of your intrusions? I think you can handle one more. What is it? My wife, Kalai. She was to join the course. She went up to the promontory to perform the Rite of Discovery, but she must have fallen. And now they are abandoning the search. We have done enough, Bree. The search party found nothing but her instrument broken beside the riverbed. And atop the promontory was only the dye she used for the ritual. We will not ask more of our people to risk their lives because of one woman's stubbornness. But the seed she carried deserved to be planted and remembered. I heard how you helped the land god, Ray. How you saw what no one else could. Please, will you look for her seed pouch? False hope is a creeping vine. If I'm out that way, I can take a look around. Thank you. The promontory is northeast of here. Look for the broken bridge at the bottom of the cliffs, right at the promontory's base. That's where the search party found her instrument. Okay. That all right with you? How you waste your time is not my concern. Searching for what the land has already reclaimed is fruitless. May the wind carry you. We'll have nothing. What's going on here? We're speaking about Yul. A reminder of why I often prefer plants. I apologize for you. My people used to be friends. Seems like there's a lot around here in short supply. As Yul said, so much so that we've sent hunting. We never used to hunt as our crops fail. But something else went. A machine. Slot a clostrider. To hear the lone survivor tell it. Until it's gone, I can't risk. But without that meat, I Tell me everything you know. It fell upon them near the edge of the- One of them, Vance. If you wish to question him, he's recovered. The other four hunters. It must be a- I've handled tough ones. Good. The old group- One more thing. Every Utaru wears a small pouch of seeds. It is how we remember our- It would mean a great deal to- I'll do what I can. I know you will. Before I head for the old growth, I might want to talk to the survivor. See what he can tell me about the Clostrider. For though they had plowed the soil for as long as anyone could remember, they did not know where the world ended or began. Then Dre crossed the plain. I like this, it's like tree houses. Very nice. Aloy. Aloy. Wasn't sure you'd ever come around. What do you think of Plain Song? It's quite a place. <laughs> oh, I rescued sure. him on the... As long as you like the smell of manure. Ah, uh, don't mind me. I won't go wandering again, I promise. There are people who need me here. Some of the others the Eclipse took had it worse than me. A lot worse. Do what you can for them, Yef. I will. What's she doing in the back? Anything like right? you did, but I'll give it my best. Something wrong? Sounds like someone's in trouble. It's Jax. You heard some rumor about Tanakh loitering around where they're not supposed to be. Took off south for Stone's Echo the next day to find them. Damn fool. Who is this Jax, exactly? My friend. Ain't it obvious? Bit younger than me, can still move without every bone creaking. <laughs> Knows his way around a bow, too. Good company to share a drink with, when there's sweet sap to drink anyway. But I told him, stick your hand in bramble and you're bound to catch a fist of thorns. Maybe I should find this guy. Stone's Echo, he said? That's right. Uh, if you don't mind me, these roots aren't gonna dig themselves.
Right, I want to go and see the machine strike person. Come on! Don't something tells me you're looking for a challenge. Sit. get this in thought. Oh shit. That's the last we'll see of that piece. What's your answer to that? Going for a knockback. Very resourceful. That one's gone. I'm up. Go on. A knockback. I might have to rethink my plan. I win. Oh Run shit. I killed my own people. Damn it. Okay, I'm gonna Let's retry that with the same set. Damn it. Can't use that machine anymore.
Okay. I'll admit that was a good move. Ouch. That's the last we'll see of that piece. Your turn. Oh, guess that piece goes off the board. After I went through all the trouble of placing it. That set was good. Here we go. Your move. I'm up. So how come he couldn't attack? I'm confused. Can't use that machine anymore. Go on. A knockback. You know the game well. I should have expected that. your answer to that? Well, I'm glad you asked. Going for a knockback. Very resourceful. 
No, it's wooden. Oh. They've won. There we go, there's the game. God, I love the music here, it's amazing, it's brilliant. <laughs> right, where's the nearest campfire? Damn man. Alright, that will do me for the night. Uh, let's get a raid going. Who's on at the minute? Uh, right, Yumi is doing Silent Hill, so let's raid. I'll be back on for some more Forbidden West tomorrow night, I uh, expect, after work, I'm looking forward to that. Um, but anyway, if you're going into Yumi's channel, say hi, uh, she's great, and she's currently watching OG Silent Hill 2. So, uh, right, I'll see you in a bit, take it easy. <laughs>